Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before, hi my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am going to share my Disneyland Paris tips for first timers. I know Disneyland Paris can be a little bit hectic and maybe a little bit scary to go through for the first time. So hopefully after watching this video and knowing these handy tips, it will make your first time at Disneyland Paris a little bit easier and a little bit more relaxed. Before we dive into all the Disneyland Paris tips, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos I post on this channel. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy Disneyland Paris content and without further ado let's get into this video so you want to go to disneyland paris for the first time but you have no idea where to start or you just really need some good tips to make the most out of your disneyland paris trip the first tip i would like to give to you is about tickets you can get your Disneyland Paris tickets online on their website and this is basically the easiest way to access Disneyland Paris park tickets. There are obviously multiple options, you can have park hopper tickets, you can have uh, one park tickets, multiple day tickets, but all the information about each individual ticket is listed on the Disneyland Paris website. And just purchasing a Disneyland Paris ticket is not going to get you there. You also need to make a reservation for the day or multiple days you would like to come and visit Disneyland Paris. It would be such a bummer and a shame if you have your tickets, you're all happy and ready for all the Disneyland magic and they refuse you at the gates. So definitely make sure you also make a reservation for the days you would like to come to the Disneyland Paris parks. There is also an option to purchase tickets for Disneyland Paris shows. I believe they currently have the Rhythm of the Pride Lens show. If I'm correct, don't shoot the messenger, correct me if I'm wrong. But there is an option to purchase tickets for these kinds of shows. In my opinion, it is not worth it to buy these tickets because you can also watch these shows for free. The only downside to not purchasing tickets for these shows is that you have to wait in a line to see the show and there is a slight chance that the venue is full and you are not able to get in. But in the case that that happens, Mostly there are two or three, maybe even four shows a day. So you can just queue for the next show and hopefully you will get in the venue that time. And when you actually purchase tickets for the show, you will be given special access to a ticket line, some sort of premier access line and you will be one of the first persons to go into the venue and you will get a slightly better place but i believe it is like 16 euros per person and yeah in my opinion you better keep that coin in your purse because it is not worth it to pay for a show you can also watch for free for the next tip i'm going to move a little bit to the side because the next tip I would like to give to you is downloading the Disneyland Paris app. This is basically your entire Disneyland Paris experience all in one handy dandy app. <laughs> I will show you a little screen recording of the Disneyland Paris app right here. I have tried basically anything to change the language from Dutch to English. But for me it does not work because all my settings and my address and all that kind of stuff is in Holland. So sorry for the Dutch language but I'm going to walk you through it and explain everything that is visible on the app. 
um, you have everything that you need to know inside this handy Disneyland Paris app. There is some normal basic information uh, about the parks, about the opening hours. Um, yeah, just every information that you need to know is in this app. You can obviously also find the park map inside of this little app. And you can watch each individual waiting time for all the different attractions and also the different parks. So you can watch the normal main Disneyland Paris park. But you can also check out the studios to see if it is less crowded over there or if it is better to stay in the main park. On top of that, you can also find all the restaurants inside of this app. And a big plus, you can also watch the menus for each individual restaurant in this app, which is amazing. So if you're not really sure what you would like to eat, you can check the menus before you actually make the decision to eat somewhere. And this is also the place where you can make a reservation for these restaurants. Some are busier than others. As an example, Ratatouille in the Disneyland Studios and also uh, Captain Jack's restaurants, Captain Jack's, not really sure what it's called, uh, is also one of the busier places. So you can definitely make a reservation before you want to eat there because Sometimes it is fully booked and you would not be able to get a seat. But yeah, you can check out what you would like to eat. And all the other tickets and reservations are also available inside this Disneyland Paris app. Obviously you would have to make a little account for this, but it is super handy to have everything just cramped into one app on your phone and you are basically good to go. So you can find anything inside of this app. Obviously there's also a little section where you can play around with your settings and all that kind of stuff with your account your tickets, your annual pass, you can all do that inside of this app. So download this app if you go to the Disneyland Paris Park. The next tip that I'm going to give you guys is probably the most important one that I can give to you. Um, some people take this for granted, but wear comfortable shoes. Wear comfortable shoes. I cannot stress this enough. I have been there, I have done this the first one or two times that I went to the Disneyland Paris parks. I wore super cheap little booties and I can tell you my feet have never been as sore as the days that I walked in them in Disneyland Paris. I have learned from my mistake and I have invested my money in some good quality shoes because my god <laughs> you need them in the parks. Maybe you think girl stop being dramatic. What is the fuss about these shoes? But I have seen numerous people struggling to walk by the end of the day because their feet, their legs, their back and their necks are so extremely sore from wearing cheap or not good shoes to these parks. You are going to walk the entire day, um, walking slowly and queuing in the lines can be killing for your feet and your back and you really need some good support for your body and your feet. So yeah, wear sneakers. Wear comfortable shoes, just do it. <laughs> Staying in the clothing department, the next tip I would like to give to you is wear comfortable clothing and also wear multiple layers of clothing. The weather in France can be all over the place throughout the day. Sometimes in the morning it can be a little bit chilly and you really want to wear a sweater or a coat or something like that. But in the afternoon you are sweating because it is going to be hot. So wear layers, wear something that you can tuck away in a backpack very easily so you won't be wearing all kinds of coats and 
have your hands full with all the extra layers and definitely also check the weather forecast beforehand so you actually know what kind of clothing you need to pack on your trip and what you need to wear on that day. My go-to is basically just jeans with some good shoes. We know that by now. Good sneakers, uh, jeans, a belt to keep the jeans in place, a t-shirt and sometimes I will wear a hoodie or a spirit jersey on top of that. And when it is a little bit more chilly, I sometimes wear a scarf and in winter obviously I am going for a coat. But yeah, just wear simple comfy clothes, multiple layers that you can easily put on or put off. And you are basically good to go. You can change throughout the day and you will be comfortable and not too cold and not too hot. Let's talk about shows and parades. In the Disneyland Paris app, you can also find the shows and parades that are going to be available when you are visiting the parks. And there are different places, obviously, that you can watch these shows. Most people tend to go for Main Street, which is just the long street at the beginning of the parks. But in my opinion, this is not the best place to watch these shows and parades. Basically, Central Plaza is where the magic happens and where you want to be when the shows and parades are going to start. And Central Plaza is right at the end of Main Street where the big roundabout is. And some of these shows even have some extra performances on these central plaza stages. So it would be a shame if you are waiting for the show or parade on Main Street and you are missing out on all the fun and magic at Central Plaza. So definitely walk a little bit further to the big roundabout and find a place over there because your experience will be so much better and you will be in on all the fun. The final tip I would love to give you in this video is about food and drinks. In Disneyland Paris, you can find these little water fountains that are safe to drink. So one of the tips is bringing a refillable water bottle because this will save you a little bit of money if you can just refill them at one of the water fountains instead of purchasing different bottles of water at a shop. So definitely bring a refillable water bottle. And obviously there are more than enough places to buy some food, snacks and drinks throughout the park. But this can get pretty expensive if you are on a tighter budget or if you have a bigger group of people that you are traveling with. So really take in consideration if you want to be spending your money on foods, drinks and snacks or if you would rather bring some snacks and food for yourself and in that way save yourself a little bit of money. We personally only bring some drinks and some snacks for in the queue lines because we are only traveling with the two of us. We do not have kids, so we have a little bit more money to spend for ourselves. But I can pretty much imagine if you have some kids running around and you have a bigger party that you are going to the parks with, foods, snacks and drinks can get pretty expensive. So. Keep that in mind and decide for yourself if you would rather bring your own stuff or if you would like to purchase your own stuff. Also, the vegan options are pretty slim in the Disneyland Paris parks. I'm personally not a vegan, but I have heard this and I have seen this in other content creators' videos. The vegan options are getting better, but it is still not amazing. So also keep that in mind if you are vegan. And that were all the Disneyland Paris tips for first timers for this video. 
Obviously, since I am an annual pass holder, I have a whole bunch of other tips for you guys. So definitely let me know down below if you would like to see more of these Disneyland Paris tips videos. Because I can definitely make this a series if you are up for it. I really hope that these tips were very helpful and that this will make your first time visiting Disneyland Paris a little bit more easier and relaxed. Also, if you have more questions about Disneyland Paris, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to help you out the best as I can. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!